555 circuit um, set to pulse at a really low frequency. Uh, this is uh, something I'm playing around with. I, I made a new solenoid carefully and um, this is a bar suspended by rubber bands. There's nails. So Synchro on Energetic Forum uh, told me about uh, Wesley Gary's theory of the neutral zone. And um, I'm wondering if that'll pay off in terms of um, inducing, uh, or if, if this can be uh, vibrated back and forth between the neutral zone. Uh, it may um, have polarity uh, Change, rapid polarity changes, which would be picked up inductively by the coil and also by these solenoids. And the solenoids would make it happen as well. Um, but I don't, know, I don't know if these rubber bands are going to be uh, too uh, loose, but it's an interesting idea in terms of this mechanical oscillation. I think this side oscillates more because the rubber bands are a little bit looser on this side. Also, this is a strong magnet, so the neutral zone is pretty far away, I think. Um, anyway, with the pulse generator, I can pulse this solenoid at various frequencies and see what occurs. So, flip this on. I have on the load, I have both an earphone and LED, LEDs. Um, only the green one lights because the earphone is taking all the energy in the opposite direction. Change the frequency. This is uh, what's occurring on the tank, tank circuit. This is uh, one volt per division and 20 microseconds per division. So this is just the leading part of the pulse, but I'm actually um, pulsing very uh, slowly. Um, I can make these LEDs brighter, meaning there's a higher uh, current if I crank up the frequency. Vibrations are very uh, subtle. We move this closer.
If I go too high, it gets all dampened. Also, the pulse width is getting really narrow. I can barely feel the vibrations at this point. Uh, another thing is um, this has very nice mechanical uh, oscillations 